Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to do a pick a card and pick a card is going to be based off of self-alignment. So we're going to go over the body, the mind, the spirit, self-care, and the emotions that you have going on right now. So take some time to ask any questions that you have and we're going to go ahead and shuffle the cards and lay them out. And as I'm doing this, you can go ahead and um just take some time to breathe so you know, relax into the space it is that you're currently in and i hope that you enjoy this video card okay i'll be right back so you have three piles to pick from this is pile one pile two pile three so connect with whichever number is calling to you and I'll be back. Also the stones here, this is a black tourmaline here. This is a mucate jasper and this is a gold stone. If you want to use those properties to help you choose as well. Okay, so if you pick pile one, and if you hear some stuff in the background, just here with me. So, um, first we're going to look at the mind. So, the first card we have is the conscious mind, and we have the eight of wands. So, you may be very consciously focused on moving forward, messages coming in, being very active in the things that you are building and creating. A very quick movement very focused on getting from here to there. Also, a lot of activity going on. So there seems to be a lot of movement in the mind as far as moving forward and um, making things come into fruition, very focused on what action, what work it is that needs to be placed into life in order to move forward with whatever awakening that just happened for you on a conscious level. Um, things have also been, been revealed for you that you may not have been aware of before. So what is being carried out through your subconscious mind is the Five of Cups. So this can either be you choosing to move forward with emotional growth or um, needing to cultivate emotional growth based out of some type of disillusionment, some type of sadness, some type of disappointment within your relationships. Um, you may be holding on to this particular pattern within your mind and that is continuing to project outwardly and continuing to create whatever relationship dynamic it is that you are already holding on to. So, but it it feels more like it's emotional growth happening in recognizing that emotions or more so the subconscious mind has shifted to a place that um, you're more aligned with recognizing that relationships are what you make them instead of getting lost in the romanticism of it and being kind of flighty with your feelings like i'm here one day i'm here the next day and instead um learning to really love another for who it is that they are based on their spirit expression their soul expression so for for the physical your material realm and your belongings, possessions, you got the Ten of Swords, so there may be some healing going on, some, some deep work happening internally in order to help you shift what it is that you are able to possess, obtain, and Ma! have Ma! 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 There may also be some endings in the ways in which it is that you've been aligning to Hi. what it is that you have on a material level Hi. and through that allowing you to rebirth Hi. how it is that you Hi. either attain stuff or the relationship it is that you have with your material possessions all right so 
um, on an actual body and wellness level, there may be some healing going on. You got the three of swords. So this can be some kind of psychological um, wound that is, that healing is taking place that has been affecting you on a health, on a body level. And you yeah. are moving forward in healing through this, rebirthing fire, through this. Fire. Um, or there can even be some study news yeah. or some realization in where it is that you actually are within your wellness and making room for you to be open to move forward in healing. So for what you are embodying, the energy that it is that you're embodying, it's the queen of the, the king of swords. So this is about being very clear about the direction it is that you're going. But you know, just full of clarity in general, um, as far as life goes, as far as where it is that you are and what it is that you are aware of. This can also speak about being clear about what needs to be done, what steps needs to be taken, what work needs to be, um, what needs to happen in order for you to get all of these aspects, this mind, body, spirit in alignment with where it is that you're trying to get to this completion and mastery point. So you may be feeling very fulfilled in where it is that you are. All right, so that further makes me say that going back to the other cards that mommy. that healing is taking place that re your mommy mommy yeah mommy mommy so that you are coming to a much more mature place when it comes to your relationships through these awakenings having this healing take place within your body within your wellness within how it is that you relate to your finances to your material possessions all right so then for spirit overall right we have seen you've got the six of swords so it's a lot of mental energy going on a lot of mind energy going on and it seems that you are ending old ways of thoughts old negative patterns so that you can move forward to higher grounds have more of a smoother passage in where it is that you are headed because the spiritual practice that you received that you were encouraged or invited to is the six of pentacles and the Six of Pentacles speak of things getting better on a journey to betterment um, on a journey to being open to receive as well as being able to give but you first are in a place of having to do the practice of getting better focusing on better focusing on your health focusing on the health of your emotions on the health of your mind on the health of your body you know in your connection to spirit so the emotions that you got were the empress so <clears throat> This may be speaking of a need to get grounded in your emotions, not feeling so um, incapable or unable to also be more in a space of fulfillment within your life um, by seeing the beauty that is there recognizing the beauty, feeling the beauty, um, to also practice nurturing your emotional, the emotional aspects of yourself, um, to also get practical and grounded within how it is that you feel, what, you're, what you are allowing to trigger you in your feelings and being secure in that. What else do I want to say here? feeling full and rich within who it is that you are but without a necessary no, no. need to rely on someone no. outside of yourself to provide this for you um to feel solid and stable and maybe also heal your relationship or your connection your emotional ties when it comes to the feminine right so 
the the self care card that you got here is dance. So do something to shift your energy, which it seems like you're already in the process. <laughs> So shifting, doing something different to shift your energy, showing up in a new space. This is about the the healing, the nourishment, the so shifting your energy, moving into that space of healing and nourishment because you got the nourishment card here as well. So focusing, using this time to to focus spring on healing and aligning and nurturing and loving the self so that you can reflect that better within your relationships and getting clear on who it is that you are tapping into your authenticity so that how it is that you're showing up can work for you and everyone who it is that you come in contact with because you got the wild woman with the shaman oracle deck and the essence of the wild woman speaks of dancing into your reading to remind you the essence of authenticity and freedom. Divested of all social constraints and cultural conformity, the wild woman holds up a mirror to your essential self that is the true essence of who you are and who you're meant to become. She is a reminder of the bright light within each that get dimmed by the restriction imposed upon us by the expectations of society. She reminds us that in order to be fully present to life, we must uncover the light and let it shine brightly regardless of perceived consequences. The invitation here is to shine brightly and know that you, your true self is being called out to engage in the world. This is a symbol that your long held dreams are beginning to take root and wants to be expressed. Your authentic self doesn't need to fit in a box. It needs to, the freedom to shine. It's time to have courage and step into the light. The wild woman said, shine brightly, dance with yeah. the standing, be yourself, and let the great spirit decide what happens. You'll be happy you did. Medicine here is excess for its own sake. It's a sense of imbalance. This is a warning that you may be trapped in obsessive thinking or behavior, looking for release yeah. places that you will never that will never provide it. Let go, lest you become the hungry ghost of Chinese Buddhist lore that can never be fulfilled. True release comes from trusting the fluidity of life, understanding that just as a river needs its banks to flow through, so too do you need boundaries around your thinking and behavior. Now it's time to simplify. Be mindful and connect to the light within. So that brings me back to this connecting to your material world, the healing here, the healing with the three of swords, and then embodying this king of swords. So these are all cards about yeah. truth. What is your truth? What are you aligning to? And allowing that to emit from you in, in spirit moving forward and letting go old painful narratives, old ways of perceiving things so that you can further move forward into the truth and focusing on practice of um, bettering all of these things so that you can fully come aligned and experience the fullness and feeling throughout your life. So, number one, I hope that was helpful. Make sure that you leave a comment if it was. And now we're going on to number two. Hi, number two. So if you picked the Mokate, I believe is how you pronounce that, Jasper, we are going to get into your cards. Conscious mind, subconscious. Let's hear you. Focus, embodiment. Okay. Hmm. So 
It seems like you're very focused on your long-term goals that you have been putting in a lot of work towards that and been very just consciously focused and aware on those things, making sure that you take the right steps, making sure that you follow the plans that you had and if you didn't have any plans to um, making the long-term plans it is that you've been needing to take care of, putting a lot of work in and really focused on that final product and gaining from all of the efforts it is that you have put in and this is seems to be stemming from your subconscious mind you have the page of wands just having been very inspired by everything it is that you've been wanting to build feeling very in very innovative um with ideas and being creative also gaining the experience knowing that you need to gain the experience also being on this novice um subconsciously but adding doing this work consciously so that you can come into the space of cultivating a sense of mastery by way of just knowing and going and moving forward subconsciously through that but you have first been having to lay the steps down so that you can gain the experience to get to that place of mastery. So on a material level, you have the star, you seem to be fulfilling wishes, fulfilling um, being in the state of bliss with the things it is that you have, that you own, that you obtain, that you purchase in wear, those types of things and feeling like that you are kind of in your purpose when it comes to this aspect of your life and feeling very blissful and on path within your unique sense of whether that may be style or just way of showing up, um, way of gaining things when it comes to uh, the efforts it is that you have been putting in. Now, with your wellness, Either this can go one or two ways. Either you need to take a break from the excess as it's been doing too much, maybe wearing you out too, too much, or um, moving past a place of negative habits that have been blocking you from being able to fully work at your optimal. But it seems that it could be possible that you may have been putting in a lot of efforts and maybe need to come to a place of taking a break so that you can let yourself rest so with um with what it is that you are embodying maybe you have been the student who is becoming the teacher you know through the things it is that you are learning getting grounded in what it is that you know and um taking the steps through guidance, being able to kind of have the key through knowledge in a sense. You are holding this space for yourself, maybe for others, maybe um, some changes for you, maybe just being very focused and aligned with a traditional route of going and of being. And maybe also just being very focused on what it is that you have been doing, learning, gaining, um, really taking in the higher knowledge that is here to support you through this journey it is that you've been on. So that you can utilize this and all the things that you have been building. So with your spirit, you have the moon. So it seems that maybe you have, are going through cycles or ending a cycle, coming to a new cycle, or choosing a new way to show up based off of this knowledge it is that you've been gaining and putting effort into this, like making way and clearing the illusions it is that you have been tied to so that you can fully, um, come into a space of being who it is that you are on a core level so that it can help you in moving forward and allowing the cycles of the moon to influence 
how it is that you have been going about doing this building it is that you have been involved in in your life and even just maybe you've been living your life through the cycles of the moon and honoring the phases of the moon in order to support you through that and with that with the spiritual practice you're being encouraged to be in the king of cups so this is about emotional maturity practicing emotional maturity um, practicing empathy and being present for another um, but also always having a full cup this is like the active principle of emoting the feeling you know knowing that um you don't have to manipulate in order to get your way that you can easily um just show up and hold space for another and they were are willing to be there for you in whichever way it is maybe even practicing being supportive of another then i said that holding space for other people um and just being very empathetic, being able to put yourself in another's shoes without being in the space of judgment, but also not feeling victimized by, um, in the fact, in, if in the case people, other people are calling upon you for this assistance, for this help, especially with um, you embodying this energy of the hierophant and you seem to know what it is that will help others to give others guidance in making the shift in their life when it comes to their physical their physical possessions just their whole overall outlook in life and being able to kind of guide them and show them the way of being able to attain the same thing so it seems that you got the ten of pentacles your emotions are based off of based in fulfillment um based in community feeling very connected to community feeling very connected to the family feeling very full and flourished and grounded and practical in everything it is that you have all the steps it is that you've taken up until this point so it's like you can almost look back and 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 be grateful for all the work you were able to put in to be here at this 10 as a place of completion. So the self-care, it seems like you've been putting in a lot of work because the self-care part of that is take a break. Life is, it says, a life's work is not a season, get off the trip. You know? So yeah, that is, that to me goes with this devil card. Maybe you've been kind of being in excess with the efforts that you've been putting in the work it is that you've been putting out there um you know and it's just it's time to come back and take a break it's really seeming that way really quickly you got the scorpio card so scorpio speaks about um many things so this is about intimate relationships shared resources shared power and power struggles um this is also about resources so it seems like the work has really been something for you and it may be time to just rest and take a break because you've been placing so much energy and effort um in moving toward your desires and what it is that you were trying to make happen and possibly doing this with others possibly for your family you know you've been putting in a lot of off into it being very committed very devoted you know showing up every day being very timely being in your routine and it, it's just time to take a break so that you can kind of recalibrate the shaman physical oracle mystical shaman oracle card you got to stand still so again let me see this is the number 52 which is like eight so it's like you're at a place of a cycle infinite kind of tapped into this energy of infinite source where you have the ability to really um, almost create what you want being aware that you have the ability to create what you want so when standstill appears, it's a symbol of pausing the act of observation and breathing space. It represents the benefits of temporary 
non-action as well as what happens when one is stuck. The invitation says when things seem to stall or stagnate or when you feel stuck, this symbol appears as a reminder that constant action isn't going to get you where, you're, where you want to go. It's time to go. It's time to gather more information. Just wait until the universe makes the next move. No matter what this moment is, a beautiful gift orchestrated in your favor. Enjoy it. <laughs> I'm sorry. Let the universe bring all the parts together for the highest good. Go and play, recharge, and take focus off whatever has stopped. Life will get busy for you again sooner than you think. The medicine for this card says, the time to get out of analysis paralysis. Stand still, invite you to turn within, breathe and recognize this is the condition of the moment. It allows you to, it allows you the opportunity to bear witness to whatever is going on before movement resumes. This is also an opportunity to abort a project to exit before damage. And it may also be time to relieve you of an unnecessary burden that you took on without considering the cost. Which one is it is depends on your stopping, take the, taking a breath, quieting your mind, and removing all distractions. Then you can make your next move in a grounded, relaxed, detached way. When something doesn't go the way you think it should, remember the following. What is yours cannot be taken away. So, number two, it seems like you have just been putting a lot of effort into some project, into maybe growing and building things for your community, for your family, for the support of others, and you've kind of come to this point of completion within that, and it's just time to take a break. So, I hope that was helpful. Let me know in the comments. And next up, we have um, Pound Mother. And last but not least, we have pound number three. So, pound number three, let's see what's going on with you. So, consciously, you seem to be focused on just inspired to learn new knowledge, to move forward with a new kind of within your truth. And subconsciously feeling very romantic or passionate when it comes to your life, your relationships. So consciously you have the Page of Swords and the Page of Swords speaks about being inspired to truth, inspired to learn new things, inspired to um, allow the things it is that you do know and what you're learning to help you move forward and where it is that you're headed to. But it is all in a matter of it being grounded in truth. So this is a person who is just beginning to learn these new things so that it can be on its way of mastery of being in this King of Swords energy of knowing what it is that can kind of help him be in this exalted state of the knowledge it is that is that resonates as true with within them you know and to also be very focused on not most, not so much the gaining but of maybe connecting or communicating and relating with others, new ways of that and that, but communicating in a way that is gonna help you attain these new things it is that you desire to know and carry forward with you in your, on your journey and on your path. So in the subconscious, you have the Knight of Cups, right? So the Knight of Cups, he is inspired by love, by passion, um, you know, just feeling very idealistic in what is possible and making these things happen by continuing forward on the journey. This is the subconscious motivation that is moving you forward. He is very imaginative, very charming in his approach to connecting with others and 
allowing that to support him in continuing to move forward when it comes to his ideas, when it comes to what it is that he's creating and allowing inspiration and his passions to help him move forward in his actions, right? So in the material aspect of the body, you have eight of cups. So maybe you were walking away from old ways of perceiving, old ways of feeling when it comes to your resources um, in finding a new way, a new alignment so that you can move forward into the wish fulfillment when it comes to the life it is that you desire to materialize the resources it is that you want to have for yourself for your life for your family um and kind of choosing to not be so focused on that so that this state of grace can come in and support you in attaining your wishes as well um Yes, yeah, so that you can further move forward into, again, that place of success it is that you're desiring. So for wellness, you've got the four of wands. So things seem to be going well with your wellness. Um, reason, finding a reason to celebrate, feeling very accomplished with where you are with your health. Um, also, maybe um, having... Had coming from a place of active movement and what it is that you've been working for and toward is coming in and being offered to you um, within whenever you watch this video from here in, in the future, moving forward in the future. All right, so what you are embodying is the three of chemicals. So this is all the sum of the parts coming together in order to really build something really inhabiting this space of wholeness for yourself or maybe you're even open to collaborating with people in order to make things happen for yourself um you know maybe coming out of this this place of loneliness stuck or endless kind of energy when it came to your resources and we're having maybe realized that things move better when you work with others so for spirit, it seems like you are still in the space of healing. You got the four of swords. So uh, a need to go within and kind of withdraw so that you can see um, what steps it is that you need to take and move forward from and move forward into like where, what thought process do you really need to have support you to align you to your spiritual connection with on your journey so that you can be successful through this through spirit you know and allowing that energy to really support you coming out of any negative places of thought that you have been holding on to that have been stopping you from really connecting to the core of who it is that you are with the spiritual practice of having strength tapping into your courage and your will to continue to move forward with what it is that you're doing, where it is that you're going, the, the healing that is taking place for you in your life. It's gonna, it seems that this is happening more so on a soul level, that place you cannot see, you know, and maybe working through any old patterns it is, especially when it comes to possibly having expressing yourself or connecting to your joy and um, your happiness in life. And really allowing that to support you standing strong and standing firm being brave when it comes to what steps it is that you need to take in that so in on an emotional level you are transforming which makes a lot of sense with the eight of cups coming up in the material aspects whatever material issues you have been holding on to it has been by way of emotions and a lot of the times our emotions, most of the time our thought patterns that we keep allowing to go in cycles because we didn't stop and feel the feelings of how it is that we feel. We can we allow the story or this narrative to be created surrounding it and it continues to play out in our life and manifest from within us, 
right? So this also to me has a lot to do with this Nine of Cups and the subconscious. Um, maybe having been very caught up in um, like hit or miss energy when it comes to relationships, more so the relationship with yourself, right? Because, you know, he's looking sad here. Um, like he started this relationship or thought something was going to happen, was very passionate in the midst of creating and it didn't work out kind of thing. But that was because, you know, because he was trying to, in his mind, create something bigger, but it was something else that needed to be walked away first from so that that can happen on the material level. And it's saying that these emotions that you are holding on to, these feelings that you have allowed to turn into these mind patterns, it's time for them to transform so that you can come into a place of rebirth, a place of... Um, something new you know a place of healing metamorphosis and allowing the old to die so that the new can be reborn what is it that you want your future to feel like those are the emotions that you need to begin to align to in your life so this is all about the journey for you and the steps it is, what the beliefs it is that you need to hold, the feelings it is that you need to, to tap into, um, the willingness that you need to grab onto in order to make things happen the way it is that you want to happen so that you can move forward into your purpose because you got the Pleiades card and the Pleiades speaks about healing the self so that we can then take this in and um, integrate this into what it is that we have to share with another, what we have to share with the community, you know, being able to offer um, our presence through what it is that we've healed through so that another person can benefit, be of benefit to it. So this is double mission channeling and uplifting humanity. So it's almost like you're healing these, these aspects of your wholeness that you have been out of touch with that um, really resonate with others on a collective level. And this is gonna help you tap more into your purpose because you have the Aquarius card. Aquarius is about the higher mind. You're healing the mind. You're moving into the space of mastery from the page of swords. You're learning these new things so that you can allow these things to support you further in making the moves and taking the correct steps and directions and things that you need to for the community, for working together with others. But first, you have to do the healing that has to take place. You know, you need to align with who it is that you are first on this individual, unique level so that you can be standing your truth, being true to yourself. All right, so the uh, Mystic Shaman card you got is the journey. <laughs> Go figure. So the journey, this is number 29, 29 is an 11, that's two. So this speaks about duality. This speaks about bringing, expressing yourself from a place of wholeness, right? Because when both aspects of the self come together, that is wholeness. I think I hear a shot. So the journey says, Mama. The journey says the invitation is to step outside the boundaries of your life. As you know, the journey is not a holiday. It is a call to be hermit-like and go on a pilgrimage into the unknown. There are no maps to the territory you will be exploring. No marked paths or road signs. Yeah. The invitation yeah. is time yeah. to... time to embark on a great journey. Uh, the great journey is here. Do not linger in the port when distant shores are calling fearlessly. So it says the time to embark on a great journey is here. Do not linger in the port when distant shores are calling. Fearlessly draw your own navigation. Okay. 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 So let's finish these. <laughs> it 
take this really draw draw your own navigational charts and discover and as you discover the route Fearlessly draw your own navigational charts as you discover the route. When the time is right, as it is now, you will be led true. Even when you are not sure where you are going, it is the departure that is most important. If you miss the boat, a great opportunity will be lost and another ship may not arrive for a very long time. The journey is calling you. This is a lesson. The journey is calling you, but the time timing is premature. Collecting postcards or fantasies of where you want to go may take over your focus and make you miss your destiny. Other things must be completed first, or you may still be attached to the to knowing the destination. Remember that the point of the journey is not the destination. It is who you will become as you are transformed along the way. Do not confuse the inner and the outer journey. So that goes along with all of this, the, you know, wanting to know the knowledge, being carried forward by your passion, transforming the emotions, connecting with others along the way, being open to that, releasing anything that you're holding onto that's not serving you when it comes to your views, um, when it comes to your material things, your resources, and everything, everything you need will be provided for you along the way, because it's almost like in this card, she's going down another path. Internal healing, you know, dealing in, in the spirit is very focused on moving past that negative internal voice that holds you back in finding the strength to move forward in purpose, through higher knowledge, and trusting that all things will continue to show up as you need them. So number three, I hope that this was helpful. Let me know in the comments. If you are still watching this, please like, share, and subscribe. And I hope that this was enjoyable. And thanks for being here with me and Mashar. <laughs> all right, bye guys.